everyone, so today I'm filming another what I eat in a day video. Please excuse the mess of my kitchen behind me. I wanted to film one of these today because I am going to Plymouth with Will and we're going to a really, really nice vegan restaurant. Well, hopefully we're going. We haven't actually booked a table yet and I think it might be busy because it's a Saturday. But we're going to this vegan restaurant that I first went to with Robin, whose channel's called Sweet Sugar Crumble. I met her there, I think a couple of years ago now, and I was just so impressed by the vegan food they have there. It's like all dreamy vegan junk. It's like everything I dream of, it's amazing. And Will hasn't been there yet, so I thought I would introduce him to it before we leave Exeter and leave uni. It is currently, I think, around 11 o'clock and I have just had breakfast. So for breakfast I had the mini chocolate Weetabix, which I have had in quite a few of these videos, which makes it seem like I have them all the time, and I don't. I literally have only bought a box maybe three or four times. They're always such a treat, I really like them, but they're kind of more expensive than the normal sort of cereals and stuff we buy, so we don't get them very often. When I do, I eat them so quickly because they are so good, and they're kind of like a junky breakfast that's also actually not that bad. So I had a bowl of them for breakfast and I also had a glass of the Outpro like cafe soya caramel drink, which is so good. It was on offer in Sainsbury's for £1.50 and I've been dying to try it and it was literally, it tastes like a Starbucks iced latte, but it's like a fifth of the price. So definitely recommend that if you like coffee. I don't drink it very often, but that stuff just tastes amazing and I figured I'm gonna have a long day. I had a late night yesterday and I was up fairly early today, so I really fancied some of that coffee. So that is what I've eaten so far today. I will keep you updated with what I eat a little bit later on. Not sure what we're gonna do for lunch yet. I will work that out when we get there. so 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 lovely i don't think i've been when it's been sunny before but we're currently sat like near the beach near the lighthouse and it is so nice we picked up a sandwich and crisps and stuff from tesco's before we came so i have got this wicked kitchen fiery tofu and slaw sandwich which sounds quite good and then some sun bites tesco didn't really have a very good crisp selection i was very disappointed but we've just got here and realized that there's some sort of food festival or something going on in the city center which we had no idea about and there are so many good food stalls i tried some dark chocolate orange and chili chocolate which was insane it was so good and there were loads of vegan options as well so we're kind of tempted to have like the second lunch maybe in a couple of hours just because we feel like it'll be a little bit of a waste if we don't make the most of it but we are having a very big dinner this evening so maybe that's not the best idea we will see but for now i'm going to eat this sandwich It is now a few hours later. We are currently on our way back to the food market and then we are going to head to Samphire Brasserie, which is where we're going for dinner. That is like the amazing vegan junk food place. But we did get an ice cream. I got a vegan blueberry and raspberry ripple ice cream from somewhere called Bertie's, if you're from Plymouth. If I'm completely honest, it wasn't that nice. <laughs> Don't think I'd recommend it. I didn't finish it. It... it <laughs> what? It's just rude. What if they see this video? It was a bit medicinal and I don't feel like I can complain about vegan stuff because it's amazing that there was a vegan option there. So I'm not going to complain, but, but it wasn't are. the best ice cream ever. So I didn't finish it, but we are now headed to the food market. Probably going to have a few more samples and then just an absolute feast for dinner. It is now actually the next day, hence why I look completely different. I didn't end up ending the what I eat in a day video yesterday for a reason I will get to in a minute, 
but to quickly talk about the dinner we had it was so 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 good I can't remember if I mentioned but we were at a place called Samphire Brasserie in Plymouth so good it's like fully vegan kind of like American style diner junk food that sort of thing and I'd been there a couple of times before and really wanted to take Will. We got cheese sticks to start, which we shared, which were incredible. I have no idea how they made that like texture of cheese. It was ridiculous. So good, definitely recommend them. And then we shared a few different things for like our main course. So we got one of the fish and chips and then we got some sides. So we got mac and cheese. We got chicken fillets or chicken tenders or something. And we also got onion rings. So we kind of all just, well, all me and Will just shared those around. The fish and chips were good. I think the ones I had in London, in my London big white in a day were better, but it was still really good. It was the same sort of banana blossom as the fish. So that was nice. The onion rings were incredible. The batter was just really, really good. And the mac and cheese was the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life, ever. Will said it was better than any mac and cheese he's ever had, vegan or not. It was like bacon mac and cheese and it had crispy onions on the top. So good. I recommend if you have to get one thing when you go there, get that. That was my favourite thing by far. Wasn't really blown away by the chicken. I mean, they were really good, but the chicken from Temple of Satan is definitely way up there. They don't compare. But all together, it was really, really good. We also ordered a dessert, which was a molten cookie dough with ice cream, which you may have noticed you didn't see in the video. And that is because two minutes before it was about to come out, we realized that our last train back to Exeter was in about 10 minutes time. So we had to really embarrassingly go up and tell them that we couldn't order it because we had to run, had to pay really quickly. And then we literally sprinted to the train station. I've never ran so hard in my life. My chest was like, it showed how unfit I was because my chest hurt for hours afterwards. And we missed our train by around 30 seconds, which was a bit of a nightmare. I mean, it was at quarter past nine, which is just ridiculous for a last train anyway. So we weren't very happy about that. We didn't get our pudding and we missed our train. So then we had to wait two hours to get the coach and didn't end up getting home until 1am, which was just not a fun situation. Hence why I didn't end the video yesterday, but I thought I would come on and just explain the food and stuff. And it was, it was really good. Very sad. I didn't get to try the cookie dough. So I think I'm gonna have to go back just so I can try that. But that has been this What I Eat In A Day video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in a comment and I'll see you in my next video.